is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. I just woke up a little while ago and I wanted to kind of bring you guys along my skincare journey this morning. I feel like both my day and night routines change like on the daily and it's mostly because of a couple things. So first because sometimes I'm more lazy than others or if I'm like rushing to get out the door uh, I don't do as thorough of a routine, but lately because of COVID, I feel like I'm having more time in the morning to do a multi-step routine instead of just like splashing my face and walking out the door. I also change up my routine a lot based on like the products that I have on hand. Like there are very, very few products that I like loyally buy time after time after time just because there's so much variety out there that I always like to try new things. And three, I also change up my routine often just based on like how my skin is feeling on the daily at the time. So it could be like I'm experiencing breakouts or my skin is feeling particularly dry or it's very humid outside. So my routine never stays exactly the same. But in general, both my day and nighttime routine generally consists of like a cleanser and then a toner of some sort, serums, actives, a moisturizer, and then if it's daytime followed by an SPF or at least I try my best to follow up with an SPF. So that's enough talking from me, let's jump into the routine. First, I wanna start with my cleanser. So the cleanser that I'm using today is from Mix Easy. This is their gentle face cleanser. This video is sponsored by Mix Easy and I have been using their products now for about a week because I wanted to make sure I tested them and like worked them into my routine before making this video. But I have both the cleanser and a face cream from them. And I really like their website because it is completely customizable. You can go on there and you can tell them your skin type. And then you go and you pick like a certain number of different actives or ingredients that you want in your product. And then you name it and you check out. They also have been nice enough to set us up with a coupon code so that you guys can save some money. But they have a wide variety of products and a wide variety of like things you can pick and choose to put in your products. And you can also make it fragrance free, which is really good if you have sensitive skin. So I'm wetting my face with a blah, little bit of water. I picked the gentle face cleanser because I don't like to use cleansers in the morning that are very stripping. And this one is like the most gentle cleanser I've ever tried. It is quite runny, so you want to make sure that it's not like spilling all over the place, but I picked the normal combination skin and also the fragrance-free option. Like I said, this one is super mild and it doesn't feel like astringent or stripping. So now I'm just going to run and rinse this off. So now that my face is clean, I like to go in with a toner. The toner that I'm using today is this Pixie Glycolic Toner. This is their Glow Tonic, and I like to put this on a cotton round and then just smooth it all over my face. And I like to stay away from my eyes because it has glycolic acid in it. Next, I'm not sure how to quite pronounce this, but is it the azelaic acid from The Ordinary? Not gonna lie, I learned about this item from TikTok, and it is a very popular item for brightening and getting rid of dark spots. I only take a very small amount and again staying away from the eyes I like to put this especially in the places where I have pigmentation I've only been using this for a couple of weeks and even though I haven't visibly seen like my dark spots fading I have noticed that they haven't gotten darker which is what they like to do in the summer so I'm gonna call that as a win next on top of the azelaic acid I'm going to apply this peach and lily glass skin refining serum this is a very thin serum and it has niacinamide in it and some peptide complexes. I got this in an Allure beauty box and I've been dying to try it and it just feels super lightweight on the skin. This serum does take like a little bit of time to absorb so I'm just gonna hang out here for about two minutes and let it absorb before I move on to the next step. So for my moisturizer I'm going to be using the face cream that Mix Easy sent me. For the cream I did pick the formula for oily skin because I like my moisturizers to be more lightweight and this had like a mattifying component to it. It also let me customize little ingredients to put in here for different things and I made this one fragrance free as well. The cleanser definitely did not have a smell to it whatsoever but this one I feel like smells a tiny bit like sunscreen even though it's it doesn't have SPF in it and you want to make sure that you get everywhere on your face and then also your neck. 
I'm also going to give this a second to absorb on my skin. So the very last step before you apply any makeup at all is SPF. Today I'll be using this Biore UV SPF 50 and this is one of my favorite SPFs. I actually bought this on a whim at the Tokyo airport because I've heard so many people love this but I'm going to try to find a link for it so that it is more accessible in the United States. But this is like a very runny watery sunscreen that just absorbs and it doesn't pill, it doesn't make me break out, it is just one of my all time favorite SPF formulas. So yeah, that is one variation of my AM skin routine. Like I said, I don't always do this many steps. This many steps is like what I aspire to be every day, but sometimes I just don't get there and I just like use the cleanser and the face cream or some sort of moisturizer and just like that's it because I'm lazy. If you are going to be using actives in the morning, please, please, please remember to use SPF. Like using actives without SPF in the morning can actually make your skin worse. I mean, you should be using SPF on the daily anyway, but especially if you're using actives. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and maybe I will do a separate one with a typical like night routine for me. But now that my skin is hydrated and prepped and there's SPF on it, I can like do my makeup and go about my day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I hope to see you next time. Bye!